All right, guys, so this is going to be a perfect example of why we have to use a water hose to be able to find a broken plumbing line underground. This is a swimming pool where we were here maybe about three weeks ago. Uh, we found a tear in the liner, but we also knew that there was going to be a leak on their skimmer plumbing line, a really bad one. But the water hose, the water line going to their hose was actually frozen, so we could not put any kind of water on the line. And so we tried to locate this with just our air compressor, but we could not hear anything. Uh, if you take a look at this, it's a very simple setup. There's the skimmer. Here's our pool equipment. We've been flooding it. I flooded this one today for about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, and I just started hitting it with the air compressor. I'm going to give this just a second. You can see that it's a terrible break. Uh, but again, with the air compressor, we couldn't hear anything with just the air. But I want to show you this. Now that we've been flooding this with a ton of water for about a minute, uh, or well, I've been flooding it for 20 minutes actually, but now that we've done so, let's hit it with the air compressor. I'll show you what happens. This is the reaction that we want to find. We want to cause a whole bunch of commotion underground that we can actually hear. And you can only do that by getting that soil really, really, really sopping wet. So when you hit it with air, it's sloshing all that stuff underground. But that's it. Uh, this liner is going to get replaced. Uh, but now we've been able to shut down the break on the skimmer plumbing line. But just to show you again, guys, you have to be able to flood that plumbing line with water for a long time to get that soil sopping wet if there's any chance that you're going to find it underground.